Welcome to this tutorial on how to digitally measure camber and caster with various auto solo wheel alignment tools. First, to drive onto the low profile turn plates, it is ideal to insert an object to act as a ramp for the vehicle to roll onto the turn plates. You may use the transition bridges included, but in this example, we built a custom ramp to help with the drive on procedure. Align the opposite turn plate in front of the vehicle in equal distance from the wheel to plate at the opposing side. Place wheel chocks in front of the rear wheels at an equal distance between the front wheel and the center of the turn plates. This will help prevent the car from driving past the center line of the turn plates. Slowly roll onto the turn plates. If possible, avoid accelerating during this process. Let the car creep onto the turn plates on its own. Once the wheels are centered, you may now remove the locking pins in the turn plates. Next, expand the tire clamp until the device fits over the wheel. Hang the clamp over the tires, center with the bubble level near the handle of the device, and tighten the clamp until the device is snug on the wheel. The tire clamp comes with alternative legs for various types of wheels, you may swap out the legs by pulling the pin at the base of each leg. If there is a tire bulge or run out on the tires, you can use the digital level to measure the vertical degree of the wheel by place the digital level on a straight metal stick or rod. Record the measurement, and place the tire clamp back on the wheel and adjust the tire clamp until the vertical degree measurements between the rim and adapter plate is the same once the tire clamp is set place the digital camber and caster gauge on the adapter plate and center the bubble level you may take the camber reading now in this view the camber of this wheel is 0.1 degrees out from the top to measure caster ensure the gauge is centered on the magnetic adapter plate rotate the wheel 20 degrees out as indicated on the turn plates at 20 degrees out Level and zero the gauge and rotate the wheels to 20 degrees in, as indicated on the turn plates. Level the gauge again and take your caster measurement, which is 4.5 degrees as shown here. For more detailed instructions, you can find the full video on the Mr. DIY Guy 123 YouTube channel. Thanks for watching our short tutorial.